Good evening viewers, welcome to the Assam Tribune, you are watching Superfast 10. I'm Anisha, here are the top 10 stories of the day. Stating that the peace agreement with the pro-talks faction of Alpha has nothing new to offer, opposition parties in Assam on Friday slammed the BJP and said the pact is merely a political gimmick ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. Asking the government to make the agreement with United Liberation Front of Akhan Public, opposition leaders stressed that many old points of earlier accords have been rewritten in a different language and tone. The budget session of the Assam Legislative Assembly will begin from February 2024, report said on Friday. Assam Assembly Deputy Speaker Noval Movin stated that several important points will be introduced in the budget session. In yet another sensational incident of youths heading out of the state of Assam in search of job and dying under mysterious circumstances, a youth from Assam's Baksa was found dead in Gujarat on December 29 with family alleging foul play into the incident. The deceased has been identified as Sujan Barwan. The Central Bureau of Investigation has filed charge sheet against former engineer of the Oil India Limited in a case related to disproportionate assets. Former superintending engineer of OIL in Dulyajan district of Assam and his wife have been named in a charge sheet filed by the CBI for possessing disproportionate assets. In a shocking turn of events, a jail warder at, at Dhubri District Jail was apprehended on Friday for allegedly smuggling contraband tablets and ganja into the prison premises. The accused warder, identified as Bibhajan Vasumatari, was caught red-handed by a vigilant colleague at the jail gate. Following the death of former Khansa West MLA, Umsen Yomsen Mate on December 16, Arunachal Pradesh's Tirap District Police on Friday issued a wanted notice against a hardcore cadre of the Proskab Naga outfit NSC and KYA for his alleged involvement in the homicide. It may be mentioned that the security forces earlier launched a manhunt for assailants involved in the killing of the former MLA. Police also announced a reward of Rs 2.5 lakh for credible information on the whereabouts of the absconding accused. The National Investigation Agency salutes with the support of Tripura Police and BS have apprehended five persons from several bordering areas of Tripura. Arrests were ma made at Sabrum and Belonia in South Tripura district and Irani under Unakoti district of Tripura. As per sources, the arrested individuals would be shifted to Guwahati for further legal proceedings. A total of 162 cases of COVID-19 sub-variant JN1 have been reported in India with Kerala having the highest count of count of 83 followed by Gujarat with 34 cases according to the INSA-COG's data updated on Friday. Nine states and union territories have identified the presence of the JN1 sub-variant. These states are Kerala, Gujarat, Goa, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Telangana and Delhi. With a thick layer of fog covering the national capital in the early hours of Saturday morning, many flights and trains were delayed due to low visibility. According to reports, over 80 flights were reported to be delayed due to bad weather conditions in Delhi, Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport this morning till 8.30 a.m. Furthermore, train schedules are also being affected by the fog. It may be mentioned that the India Meteorological Department issued a red alert for dense fog in North India. The Israel Defense Forces on Saturday released footage of tunnels used by the Hamas territories for the highlighting that the tunnels of Hamas general headquarters have been located and destroyed in the northern Gaza Strip, adding that those tunnels were an electricity network, ventilation and sewage infrastructure, prayer rooms and resting rooms. That's all the news we have for you today on Superfast 10. Thank you for joining us. For more news and updates, stay connected with us on social media. Like, share and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X, YouTube and Telegram. Tune in tomorrow at the same time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay informed. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Assam Tribune.